Do face masks cause a decrease in oxygen levels? Do they make it harder for us to breathe, to get air in? Uh, we are going to see right now, uh, today, if face masks actually cause a decrease in oxygenation when we're wearing masks, okay? Um, first of all, this is a pulse ox, short for pulse oximeter. By the way, this is a really nice thing to have handy at home, by the way. Uh, this little number right here, this 98, is the oxygen saturation number. 100% uh, is ideal. It is like perfect shown, um, less than 95% we usually say, hmm, you probably need to see somebody about that. Um, and then this number right here is my pulse. So that's my heart rate. And yes, it is high. It's because I'm so excited talking to you guys. Generally, a heart rate is between uh, 60 and 100. But when we're all wound up, it will go up. These numbers are fluctuating, right? The numbers will fluctuate depending on how much air you're getting in and putting out and what's going on with your body. So don't be alarmed at the fact that these numbers are fluctuating. I wanted this on my hand the whole time so you could kind of see how this works, okay? Now we got our face mask. Let's put this on and by the way I'm gonna keep the uh, pulse socks on my finger too okay, got it on and by the way you see how it's put on it's like a little mouth um, you just open it up just like this you see that there's a little light there's a little sensor in there see that and then you put your finger in okay and it's got to recalibrate so while it recalibrates let's just take a look I got my mask on this is a standard sort of surgical mask that I know many of us have this is the oxygen saturation and this is the pulse, okay? Let's just give it a couple minutes just to see, does this change, does it stay the same? What actually is going on, all right? So, do, 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 do. <laughs> Yep, so it looks like it's about the same. My pulse is coming down, though, look at that. It looks like I'm kind of taking it down a notch. <laughs> so I'm holding it here for a while because I want you guys to see, is this changing really much? I mean, a little bit, which is normal, right? But not much, and it's not going too low. That is the most important thing, is that this is not going too low, meaning I'm still breathing just fine, even though I have my face mask on, okay? Now, let's try another mask, okay? Let's do the N95. These are the ones that we have in our office at work. Let me put this little guy on. Let's see. Oh, all right. These are actually really comfortable in 95s. Got this little guy on. And notice I kept this on my finger the entire time. So you can see I didn't take it off and put it back on. There's nothing rigged here. Let me tell you, on my honor, scouts honor folks, okay? So you see how the number fluctuates just because that's what's gonna happen. My heart rate fluctuates because I'm so excited to talk to all of you. <laughs> But you see, it's about the same. Woo, and we take that mask off. Hey, I want you guys to try this at home. By the way, these pulse oximeters, you can find these at any local like drugstore or whatever. I got mine at CVS, not an ad, just the truth. Um, you can get your own pulse ox. You can try this at home. When people say that masks uh, make it hard to breathe or decrease oxygen levels or things like that, it's not true, okay? You can see it yourself. You can do it yourself. You can try it at home. Um, but I had never done this on camera, so I wanted to try it and show you as well. Um, guys, let me know what you think about this. I hope you share this video with other people so they can see as well. So as we talk about wearing masks back wherever we need to wear them, um, that you feel comfortable doing that because we know that that is going to one of the ways that will help uh, slow the spread of COVID, which is absolutely what we need. Um, so yeah, share this video with others. Put in the comments what you think. Um, if you've tried this before, if you have a pulse socks, whatever the case may be. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do and click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.